Like, do you ever worry about running out of time to get married? Like, it might be harder if you wait longer. I thought about that too. I'm I like have that fear, especially if you want to have like a family and stuff. Yeah, but I'm very spiritual. I mm-hmm. I believe in a lot a lot about uh, the law of attraction and about you attract <laughs> the people that you need to attract at a certain moment to learn certain types of lessons. And I think the right if you are not in a fear place about that if you let go yeah i think you're going to meet the right person at the right time and things will suddenly happen because there's amazing (laughs) stories out there it's not from disney no but there's like uh, stories up i mean real stories out there that i've seen couples getting married and getting a family later on you know even early so there's a bit of everything i feel i think we just are putting people in boxes and realities they are limited like probably you UK realities, uh-huh. <laughs> you know. But I'm not for the UK yeah. reality. Um, but you you realize like fifty percent of women over thirty are single and childless. So there's a lot more um, cases where it didn't work out than it did. So this manifestation thing, <laughs> can I just like yeah, bring it back? Gotcha. Like this whole manifestation law of attraction thing sounds great um, on paper, but statistically, when you look at it, like Pearl said, like over thirty, um, you're less likely to like get married and stuff like that and the thing is um as a man it's very interesting that um i think like echo chambers are a thing like so i think when uh, one of the reasons why men get um like attacked when they speak the truth about statistics is because women live in echo chambers amongst women so women can sit amongst other women and say yeah manifest him girl you know you the law of attractions great like you don't worry he's coming your your your, your guys coming it's like and men are like what the hell are they talking about like what, what are you guys like, like get on like because as men when we want to do something we start doing it mm-hmm. we start like making the plans to do something right and it's like if you don't make plans to do something and thinking you, you can like kind of wish it into existence really and truly nine times out of ten nothing actually gets done so this whole thing of uh oh yeah i'll wish him into existence and the law of attraction in the right time blah 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 it's hard for men to hear that because that table right there wasn't wished into existence. Do you know what I mean? It was a man said, I need to make a table and I'm going to make a table. I'm not going to be like, yeah. I'm not going to think about it and think, yeah, like, it's going to. What if I co-. said I want to wish, I want to wish to be a millionaire into existence. Right. You know? It's just like, you have to put plans into consideration. If you manifest it, it could happen. Yeah, but it, it more than likely won't. And like, like I come from a very, my dad's very, very successful, but he got there by working 80 hours a week my whole life. I barely saw him. It wasn't by manifesting it. Okay. I mean, have you read The Secret? The book. I've read it. I've read it. I've it's actually a really read The Secret. Good book. It's it a good It's a great it book. Is. It it's is. a great book. And I think it's... I thought that guy was a con artist. I swear no, I think... I, I think... No, I swear what? to God, it came out he was a con artist. I think essentially <laughs> what The Secret teaches is good. I think essentially what... Because things have to start in your mind before they become... Um, before they uh, make it into fruition. And I get that. That table started in somebody's mind first before it became a table. It didn't just become a table. Somebody thought about making it a table Mm -hmm. and they said, okay, cool, this is what's going to happen. But they had to work to actually get it done. You manifest something and it helps you get there. It also takes working, but obviously if you start manifesting and telling yourself every single day, this will happen, I can make this happen, it helps you actually right. physically do it. Well, it can help you, but but it, it doesn't come without well, yeah, no, working. Of, of course, yeah, yeah. No, you can't just say, oh, I'm, I'm going to be a billionaire tomorrow. It won't, it won't, see, won't a lot of people, A lot of people think that when it comes to manifestation. Yeah, but obviously that's not what, what mm-hmm. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just, that's what I, when I first heard about manifestation and all this universe, I was like, so essentially people are just writing down things and saying, this is going to happen, and just sitting back and relaxing. I was like, you still have to put in some work with it. Yes. 